Hi, I'm Andrew Priestley and welcome to uh, the Sales Skill Profiling and basically I'm asking the question, can you sell? A lot's happened in the last two years. Uh, two years ago, salespeople could pretty much pick up the phone and say, hello, uh, do you want to buy something? How soon can you get here? And give us your checkbook, press hard, all that sort of rubbish. But since 2008, uh, a lot has happened. Um, my guess in working with salespeople worldwide is that um, people who could sell quite easily two years ago are really finding it hard right now. So the question really we're looking at is can your people sell now given the current economic uh, issues that are uh, happening around the globe? Um, how well can your people sell right now? And how would you find out? Well, one thing that we get people to do is we get them to complete the sales skill profile and basically people answer a number of questionnaires. What you're looking at here is the uh, the short questionnaire. And from the questionnaire we can generate a series of charts. Now, in this particular chart what we're looking at is uh, sales potential and sales techniques. And we can see from this particular uh, profile right here that this person um, has pretty good sales pot potential and pretty good sales techniques but what we're looking for is on average around about the 75% mark optimum for high performance but at 59% and at 61% this person would need some training they'd probably be struggling in a sales role right now um, this particular chart here shows us exactly what sort of skills we're looking at. The research that I looked at over a long period of time showed us that sales actually travels through a cycle and uh, I identified 10 key steps which was readiness, knowledge, prospecting, rapport, qualifying, presenting, closing, objections, handling, service and administration. And again what we're looking for is around about the 75% mark give or take 5 to 10 points. So you can see here that anything in that pink zone is working for you and anything that's either too high like the administration score or too low such as prospecting for example um, those are the strengths and weaknesses in this case here with administration we've actually got too much of it and in prospecting here you could see that's probably the weakest strength so this person here you could say um, is quite ready to sell in many regards has good product knowledge product prospecting is probably their weakest um, skill uh, which is probably also based on probably something issues to do around their rapport definitely around the way that they investigate and qualify clients they can present okay but you can see they're starting to shy away from the closing questions or handling objections we could see if they got the business they would service perfectly beautifully in range here and you can see they probably spend most of their time doing the administration what the uh, sales profiles don't tell us though which we've incorporated into this particular chart are three key traits that we found really critical to sales and that was your attitude, your responsiveness and your communication skills. Now attitude really measures uh, how positive and optimistic you feel about getting the result. So this score here is sort of in range. You can, you can pretty much tell that if I had a score down here for example down at 50% this person no matter how skilled they are are going to actually be quite negative towards selling. So this becomes a really handy score to look at. We can also see here that responsiveness is low. So this is what we call a nice guy seller. This guy here believes that the way to get a sale across the line is actually to make friends um, with the person to actually become their best buddy, which is true. You still have to build a relationship and establish rapport, but you actually have to meet people's needs. And we can see that poor prospecting, poor qualifying, is actually going to say buy from me because I'm your friend, not buy from me because I've identified what you need and want and what's going to be of value to you. And we can see that communication skills are also down and that's also reflected in that rapport. This becomes a really useful document if you employ salespeople. It firstly tells us how I'm going to best manage, supervise or train these people. So I can immediately see where I need to put my training, my management, my supervision. Um, if this person was in front line, I'd have some concerns, particularly around closing and handling objections. And this particularly is qualifying. This person's not really identifying the needs of the client. In addition to the charts, we also, some people like to see, for example, uh, verbiage, they like to see written reports. So for every particular skill that we looked at, the 10 skills and the three traits, there's actually a score that we've attributed here. So we can actually see, okay, here's what's actually going on. In this case here, we can see 
um, that will take the rapport at 63. It says good rapport skills, but you appear to have some concerns around using rapport to sell something. Um, down at qualifying, generally poor, pay attention to how exactly you identify and confirm a customer's explicit needs. If I'm hiring someone in sales, this is telling me a lot about how this person operates with my customers. And this is a general overview to the percentages if you were scoring down here at, mo at under 25%, for example. Uh, this is what we'd say is critically low need sales training, very close monitoring and supervision. Incidentally, a lot of people say, what if I got 100%? It comes out as unrealistically too high. Generally, we find people at 100%, um, what they're doing is uh, they put the product ahead of the client's needs. They just assume everybody needs what they're selling. Really useful score. Um, if that's of benefit to you, please go to andrewpriestley.com and click on the profiling tab and let's get your ducks lined up. The sales skill profile, fantastic tool.